Good day, grade 8 learners, and welcome to Tumamina Teaching. You are tuned into your fourth and final lesson for Term 4, EMS Financial Literacy. Well done on making it this far. We have reached the end of the year. In this lesson, we will be looking at the trial balance, which is the next step in the accounting cycle after the general ledger. So what is the trial balance and the purpose of the trial balance? A trial balance is a summary or you could say a list of all the closing balances of the general ledger accounts. We use the trial balance for two things. Firstly, to check if the calculations are correct. And lastly, to check if the debit and credit side balances add up to the same amount. We also use the trial balance to prepare the financial statements at the end of the year. Once the general ledger accounts have been balanced or totaled at the end of the month, it is important to see if the calculations are correct. All the debit entries will be recorded on the debit side and all the credit entries will be recorded on the credit side. The total of the debit side must equal to the credit side. If it's not, then the bookkeeper has to go back and check where the possible errors could be. Let's look at the format of a trial balance. We start with the heading of the trial balance. The name of the business, in this case, Bake at Brenda's trial balance on 31st of January 2021. We first start with the balance sheet section and then the nominal account section exactly as we've done on the general ledger. The balance sheet section consists of equity and assets accounts. Capital and drawings will be a part of your equity accounts. Capital increases your owner's equity and will be balanced on the credit side. Drawings decreases your owner's equity and will be balanced on the debit side. As you can see, the DALIC acronym is still very important for the trial balance. Moving on, all the assets increase on the debit side and we write the balances on the debit side. The nominal account section consists of income and expense accounts. If the debit side equals the credit side at the end of the trial balance, we know the trial balance balances, which means the totals agree and the double entry principle was applied. Do you still remember the double entry principle? Okay, grade eights. So for this lesson, it's just an entry level about trial balances. Now in grade nine, we'll have a closer look at trial balances, but for now, let's look at a practical example and an overview of trial balances. Use the information below to draw up a trial balance of Bake at Brenda. The following balances and totals appeared in the books on 31st of August 2021, the end of the financial year. As you can see learners, the balances are not in the correct order. Can you still remember which accounts will be recorded first, second, third, etc? Quickly discuss this with a friend in class. 3, 2, 1. Yes, you are correct. Let's start with the balance sheet accounts first. So first up is capital. And as you know, capital is recorded on the credit side. Next up is drawings. But this one is a bit more tricky because we didn't give you the balance. What do you think the balance for drawings is? The example states the following. The drawings for the year is one third of the capital. To calculate the amount, you take one third of 36,000 Rand and that equals 12,000 Rand. Remember, drawings will be recorded on the debit side. Okay, grade eights, we are done with equity. Now let's look at assets. Now assets will be recorded on the debit side. This is because assets increase on the debit side. Now remember our acronym, DALIC. Now it's time for the nominal account section of the trial balance. This consists of income and expenses. Income will increase on the credit side, and expenses will increase on the debit side. At the end of the trial balance, the debit side and the credit side have to add up to the same amount. Then the bookkeeper will know that the trial balance is correct. In this case, is the trial balance correct? Yes, it is. We did it, grade eights. 
and well done for completing the whole year of EMS. I hope to see you next year for grade 9 term 1 EMS and I wish you all the best for your exams and upcoming tests. Goodbye.